examples from the coordinate geometry, we will use the results of that. Correct? Now, the example of the points minus 1, 5 and P, 5, say, land on the circle with center O, 2, comma, minus 3, but find the value of Y. And please find the radius of the circle. This point is A, minus 1, comma, P, and this B, far and cell. These two points are lies on the circle. Okay, so according to the example, we will draw a graph figure of circle. Okay, O is the center of circle and any two points with this A and this little here B, these two points A and B are on the circle. Correct? So here we will mention the coordinates of this point O. O is the center which are the coordinates 2 comma minus 3 by A. What are the coordinates of point A? Minus 1 by minus 1 by and B. What is the coordinates? B 5 7. Correct? Now since O is the center of circle and A and B are the points on the circle, then what out this O to A is here. If you will join O to A, O A is for radius of the circle, correct? And here O B is for O B is also the radius of circle. Means O A and O B are the radius of circle. You know that about the radius? Radius are equal, correct? So we will equate the distance O A equals to O B, right? So here. This center of circle will write at the points R O E center of circle and A and B are the points on the circle. Okay? Points on circle. So what will be the radius? Radius OA equals to radius OB. Okay, so here OA equals to OB. So by using the distance formula, we will find here what values of Pa and afterwards we will find the radius of circle. Correct? So here OA equals to OB by using distance formula, by using distance formula. Okay, what is the distance formula? Sorry, distance formula is for under the root side x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So here we use for the same x2 minus x1 bracket square for OA. Right? Now you know that the distance formula x2 minus x1 under the root side x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So here for these OA distances, we will take this x1, y1, this x2, y2, correct? So x2 minus x1, because x1 is also negative. So this x2 is 2 minus of minus 1. If this minus minus will go plus. So 2 plus 1, correct? So x2 minus x1, x3 is equal to this minus and this also x1 is minus so minus minus plus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So what is your y2? y2 is for minus 3 but and y1 is for your y. Okay, so minus 3y minus y bracket square. Right? Equals to similarly for the radius OB. So we will discuss OB kind of right. So here this for OB distance is this x1, y1 and this h2, y2. So x2 minus x1 is 2 minus 5 correct. So here 2 minus 5 bracket right? square plus y2 minus y2. What is y2? y2 is minus 3 by minus y1 is what? 7. Right? Minus 7. Okay. Now first we will find out here 
just simple simplification. Two plus one, three. So here three is here. Plus minus three by minus y, minus four y. So this minus four y bracket square equals to here two minus five, minus three. Correct. Minus this plus. Then plus here we cannot add because one number we create a random is a single number. So here. We will keep as it is minus three by minus seven bracket square, right? Then here we have to find the value of y here. Here is one, here is one, but here y is. In this quantity comes into the identity form. So what we will do here? We will make a squaring on both sides so that what will happen? This squaring this side will get cancelled. So we will do the squaring. On both sides, correct. Squaring on both sides, then this square side will get cancelled. So directly you will get three square, three square plus minus four by bracket square equals to here also minus three square plus minus three by minus seven bracket square. Right. Now we will simplify this expression. What is this square? Three square nine plus minus four. Four y square is four. Sixteen y square equals to we are minus this square is nine plus here we will use what a minus b bracket square identity. So what is a minus b bracket square identity? Yes, of course. A square plus b square minus two ab. So a square is equal to two square minus b by square. So minus b by square becomes positive. So nine. Y square, correct? Plus b square. B square is four square seven square. So seven square is what? Forty nine. Right. Now minus two a b. So for that this minus sign minus two a a is what we are taking. It means that sign already you have the identity and this minus sign. So minus minus will become finally plus. Correct? So minus two a So minus and then minus sign here. Two a b two is what two a a is what you are dividing b. So two three is are six and six seven is are forty two forty two y. Right now we will check this nine and eight cancel. Now we have sixteen y square. We take all of them together to this side. Minus nine y square. Plus 49 will go minus 49 and plus 42 will go minus 42. Y equals to C. So here 16 minus 9 minus 9 will be correct. Same Y square, right? Then this minus 42 we take this side and just this will just shift the number, right? So here minus 49 equals to zero. This we have only change the Right position of this number. Now here again we can reduce. If we see properly, we can reduce this form. Seven ones are seven. Seven six are forty two, and seven seven are forty nine. So finally we get y square minus six y minus seven equals to zero. Correct. Now this came in the form of this equation called an equation. So we have to use the spinning wheel to find the factors of y. Values of y we have to factor it, right? So y square minus six y minus seven equals to zero. So we have to find the factors of seven. So seven is half minus seven, and here six is minus six. So what are the factors of seven? Correct. Seven comes out seven, right? So here this minus, so we need to get the addition of Minus here and this plus so multiplication will be minus, right? So here y square minus seven y plus y minus seven equals to zero, correct? And here what is the common in these two terms? Y. So y is bracket y minus seven. Here not any common means always one, correct? So here plus one in bracket y minus seven equals to zero, right? Now we have y minus seven and another bracket y plus one equals to zero. So you will get this. We have to compare this one minus seven equals to zero and 
y plus 1 equals to 0. So finally, we will get y minus 7 equals to 0. And here, y plus 1 equals to 0. So you will get y equals to 7. And here, you will get what? y equals to minus 1. So here we got two values of y. Okay. So of course here, two cases will be there when y equals to 7 and when y equals to 1. So when y equals to 7, what are the coordinates of center 4? What are the coordinates of A? What are the coordinates of B? Right? So we will see the case first. First, when y equals to 7. Then we have to see when y equals to 7. So for, uh, when y equals to 7, the coordinates of the coordinates of which are the coordinates of A? A is what? X is given as it is minus 1. A is what? Means y is what? 7. Then what are the coordinates of O? O coordinates are 2 and minus 3, 5. So 3, 5. What is the 1? 7. So 3 minus 3 multiplied by 7, 7 is 21, so minus 21, right? And B, what are the coordinates of B? All that as it is 5, 7, right? Now here, we will find the radius OA and OB, then OA and OB become 6, but we have to find the OA that y equals to 7, right? So here, OA equals to, under the new side, what? This x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. So under the new side, x2. x2 is what you are 2 minus of minus 1, so minus minus plus 1, that is here, plus y2 minus y2. So what is your y2? y2 is here, you have got minus 21, okay? So minus 21, Minus y1, y1 is what you are 7 here. So here 7. Correct? Bracket square. So here 2 plus 1, 3 3 square is 9. Here you will take the same 3 square plus minus 21 minus 7 minus 28 bracket square. Correct? So here we will find the square of what is the square of 3 and what is the square of minus 28. Correct? Right? So what is the square of 3? 3 square is 9 and immediately number what is the square of 20? 28 square 784. Correct? Right? So here we will add this 9 plus 4, 30. Here you add 8 plus 1, 9 and here 793. Right? So what is the OA? OA is what? 793 which is the radius root 793. This is the radius going right. Now we will see when case 2 when y equals 2 of b for y equals 2 minus 1. Right? So minus 1. So what are the coordinates of a? A this Minus 1 and what is the y? Minus 2. Then b 5, 7 as it is. And o, what are the coordinates of o? This 2, comma, minus 3, multiplied by minus 1. Okay, so here 4 plus 3. This minus 3. Multiply by minus 1. So minus minus will come also plus 3. Right? So what is the distance of OA? OA means what it is your radius. Right? So OA is x1 minus x2 y2. x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y2. So x2 is what your 2 minus minus 1. So minus minus plus. So 2 plus 1, that is here, plus 5, 2 minus 5, 1, what is 4, 5, 2, 5, 2 is 3, minus, minus 1, so plus 1. Okay, so here, 3 square is 9, 
and whole square is how much? 16 so equals to 25 so you will remove the square root of 25 so equals to 5 ok so your 4a is equal 5 the distance of OA is radius and OA equals what you will get 5 ok so that the points 1, 1, minus 1, 5, 7, 9, and 9, 5, 10 are in order. Uh, the vertices of the rectangle also find the area of the rectangle. Okay. Now this example we have written on the blackboard. Now in order to show that the vertices of the rectangle, then what we have to show? We have to show that for opposite sides are equal and the diagonals are equal then it shows that these are the vertices of the rectangle and if you know that what is the area of rectangle sorry area of rectangle is equal to length into width right so by using the distance formula we will find the distances of this between the two points of each point so let me take these points A, B, C and D are we have taken here in you know, order these are Rectangle here. We see the, this the rough sketch of rectangle. Correct. This A, B, C, D. Right. We will join these two points of rectangle. So in order to show that this is the vertices of rectangle, we have to show this opposite distances are equal and also we have to show that the diagonal distance is same correct so here what are the coordinates of a we take this 1 comma 1 b minus 1 comma 5 c 7 comma 9 and d 9 comma 5 correct now we will see the distances of a b b c c b and a right so here by using the distance formula, first we will take lay the points, these points, points are A, 1 comma 1, B, minus 1 comma 5, C, 7 comma 9, and D, what? 9 comma 5, correct? Now you can see the distance by distance formula we will find by using distance formula. Okay, by using distance formula, now you can see the distance formula for this A, right? So A B equals to under the root side for x x2 minus x1, that is equal to y2 minus y1, that is equal to what you are x2. What you are minus 1, you will take this x1 by 1, this is x2 by 2. So minus 1 minus 1 is x2 minus x1 brackets 12 plus y2 minus y2. What is y2? Pi minus 1. Okay, so pi minus 1 bracket square equals to here minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 2 square is what? 4. Correct. And here my 5 minus 1 4, so 4 square is 16, right? So here you will get for 16 plus 4, how many? 20. Now we will find the factors of 20, 4 into 5, 4 fives are 20. So what is the square root of 4? 2. You will get 2 root 5 units, correct? This is the distance of A, B, C. Similarly, we will find the distance B, C, right? So B C is what? This X1 by 1, this X2 by 1. So X2 minus X1. So this X2 minus minus 1. So X1, correct? So 7 minus minus 1. So 7 plus 1 you will get, right? Then Y2 minus Y2. What is Y2? 9, 9 minus 5. 9 minus 5 bracket square. Okay. Now 7 plus 1, 8. A square is what? 64 plus 9 minus 5. How much? Correct. 9 minus 5 plus 4 square is what? 16. So here you will get 6 plus 4, 10. And here 7, 6, 7 and 8, 80. So 
what are the factors of 80? 16 fives are 80. So what is this correct of 16? Correct. 4, 4, 5 units. Okay. So distance will be B. Similarly for C, we will see the distance of C. C for that X1 minus X2 Y2. So here X1 minus X2 Y2. So X2 minus X1. 9 minus 7. Right? So here 9 minus 7. That is 12. Plus 5 2 minus 5. Or 4 5 2. We have to have 5 minus 9. Correct? So 5 minus 9. That is 12. Okay. So 9 minus 7. How many? Like 2. 2 square is what? 4. Plus 5 minus 9. Minus 4. Minus 4 square is what? 16. So here you will get what? 16 plus 4. 20. So what are the factors of 20? 4, 5 are 20. So you will get what? 2 root 5 units. Correct? So distance is of series. Similarly, we will find the distance of A D. Right? So A D distance is. Okay. Now A D here this with an x1 y1 is x2 y2. So x2 minus x1. So 9 minus 1. Right? Further we will say 9 minus 1. Right? Is 12 plus y2 minus y2. What is y2 there? y2 is 5 minus 1. Correct? So 5 minus 1. Right? Is 12. Okay. Now 9 minus 1. A x2 is what? 64. Plus 5 minus 1. Of course, no. Whole square is what? 16. Okay, so here, how many here you got? 16 plus 4, here, here, 10 is 80 you got, correct? So 80 is what? 16, 5 is 80. What is the square root? 4, 4, the root 5 units. Right now we have 5 here, what? A, B, B, C, C, D and A, D. A, B, B, C, C, D and A, D, right? So now here, we will see what are the opposite sides in this figure we have seen. What? C, A, D and B, C. This is A, D. Diagonal. 
diagonal AC equals to diagonal PD. This what the required property for that the area of the quadrilateral is the rectangle. Correct. Opposite sides same and diagonals are also same. So here we can we have shown that here that D, E, C, D are the vertices of the rectangle. Correct. So we can write here hence. A, B, C are the given points. Given points are the vertices of rectangle. Correct? Vertices of rectangle. And again here they ask and to find the area of rectangle. So area of rectangle what? Area of rectangle. What is the area of rectangle formula? Correct. Length into breadth. So what is length? Length means this is your breadth. Correct? This is your length and this is breadth. This side is breadth. So what do you call the length? AD distances. AD we have find here that AD equals to what? 4 root 5. So 4 root 5 into breadth. Breadth is what? CD of AB. AB you want 2 root 5. Correct? 2 root 5. So here, this 4 multiplied by 2, 4 roots are 8. And this root 5, root 5 become 5. So 8, 5 are 40. Right? So area, area of rectangle 40 square units. Okay? This is the area of rectangle. So similarly, like this example, let's show that these are the supposed to be the given points of what? Still the given points of Rovers, given points are uh, parallelogram. Then according to that, we have to work by the we have to see the property square. Square means what we have to show what all the sides from same and also diagonal will the same, right? Similarly for the parallelogram and for the rovers, rovers for what? What is the property for the rovers? Yes, opposite sides are equal means all sides are equal and diagonals are equal, correct? And if they ask to find the area, then we have to go for the formula for area and we have to find the same, correct? So in this way we have to show the points, the given points of vertices of rectangle and so on, correct? Now we will see the next example. What is the quadrilateral? P 
Dagoman Jewels. Motive of Dagoman Jewels here x2 x1 y1 is x2 y2 so x2 is what minus 3 minus 3 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 so motive y2 minus 2 minus 4 bracket square so here what minus 3 minus 3 minus 6 minus 6 for is 36 plus here minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 and minus 6 square is also 36 so 36 to the 72 means this root 72 so what are the factors of 72 36 to the 72 and what is the square root of 36 6 so here you will get what 6 root 2 units correct it means that the diagonal we diagonal pr and another diagonal q the range of the pr and qs are totally different so here what we can write pr is not equal to what qs and all this this thing we are going to have seen that we follow the properties of the numbers correct so these this show that the PQ RS is a robot but not square. When it is possible it is a square, when diagonals will come also the same. But here we want the diagonals are different and hence we can write this is the vertices or these are the points of, of given in a plane are the vertices of the robots, correct? Right? But not square, right? And then now we will find the area of area of Rovers. What is the formula for the area of rovers? Correct. Half into what? The product of its two diagonal. What are the total diagonals when we first? 4 root 2 multiplied by another is what? 6 root 2. Okay. So we have half into 4, 6 are here means this 4 multiplied by 6 multiplied by root 2 into root 2, 2 only. Correct. So this 2, 2 okay. So 6 for the 24 square units. So this is what? This is what? Area of robots. Understood everyone? So in here we have to go just we have to follow the properties of given figure. And in this way we have to solve the example. Now afterwards we will see the next example. Use for this a b square, b c square, and a c square, right? 
right? What is the AC square will come? AC square for the, this x1, this y1, this is x2 and this is y2. So x2 minus x1, 7 minus 4, right? So here AC square for the is 7 minus 4 bracket square plus y2 minus y1. What is y2 here? 3 minus y1, 7. Okay, 3 minus 7 bracket square. Okay. Now about AB, right? AB square. For AB square, what we get this x1 by 1? This will take x2 comma y2, correct? So here, x2 comma y2. So here we take what x2 minus x1 means what? P minus 4, right? So here, P minus 4 bracket square plus y2 minus y1. 3 minus 7 bracket square. 3 minus 7 bracket square. This is of A B square, right? Similarly, similarly for B C square. B C is what this x y two. This we can make x one, y one. And for B C distance, right? So same B C x two minus x one. P minus seven here. Plus P minus seven. Bracket square plus y two minus y two. Y two is what three three minus three bracket square. Okay, now we just we will just simplify this. Okay, seven minus four three three square is what nine plus three minus four seven minus four and minus four square is what sixteen equals to here we here we use. But we are to use I and B A minus B that is A square means what square? B square plus 4 square is what? 16 minus 2 A B is 4 to the A B plus here 3 minus 4 3 minus 7 minus 4 minus 4 square is what? 16 plus here same identity we will use B square plus 4 7 square is 49 minus 2 A B is 7 to the 14 B plus here this here 3 minus 3 0 so here 0 then come correct now we simplify here this 16 plus here this 16 and this 16 we can cancel correct now this minus 9 is only remaining here P square this P square and this P square is what 2 P square correct this minus 18 P and minus 14 P how many Right, minus 22 p. Right, this 16, this 19, we write as this 16 plus sorry 49, and this plus 9 will come the minus 9. So here you will get remaining 0. Right, now here 2 p square minus 22 p. This how many remaining about this 16. And this 49 minus 9 here you will get 40, 40 plus 16, 56. Correct? And here equals to 0. Now we will reduce this. 2 1s are here, 2 1s are, 2 1s are 11. Then 2 2s two are 4, 1 remaining, 2 8s are 16, 28. Correct? Now here you got this type of equation p square minus 11p plus. 28 equals to 0. Correct? Now here again we will use which method? Right? Splitting the term. So here p square minus 11p plus 28 equals to 0. So what are the factors of 28? Right? 7 equals to 28 and both will take negative. So you will get addition of that to the number. 7 and 4 you will get minus 11. So p square minus 7p minus 4p plus 28 equals to 0. So here p in bracket p minus 7 minus 4 in bracket p minus 7 equals to 0. So you will get p minus 4 and p minus 7 equals to 0. So p equals to 4 and here p equals to 7. Okay. Now here is two values came for the P. Now, exactly this value of P here. See, if you will 
10 p equals to 7. So here p coordinates for 7, 3 will go. Correct? And we have c coordinates become 7 and 3 is impossible. After that it becomes a, a triangle. No, not possible because if we will get the same point is b and x. c is exactly so. Same. So here it is not possible for the p equals to 7. Right? So here x and p and proper value of p is what? 4. Correct? So here we cannot take p equals to 7. So it is not possible. Possible p equals to 7. And means p equals to 4 is the value. Correct? So here p is the p equals to 4 is the value. Understood everyone? Now another example you will see in the virtue. Okay. 